after baking. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. I am super excited that you're here in my channel and if you're new, please, please don't forget to subscribe and at the end of this video, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. So in this video, I'm going to share with you why sometimes your cookies after baking have little bumps or the surface is not very flat. When you are going to decorate cookies, you want to have a cookie as flat and even as possible. As you know, you're going to put the icing on the top and you don't want an uneven cookie. So this is something that I hope that is going to help you to always have a very flat surface to decorate your cookies. Also, if you remember, I shared a video on how to bake cookies to perfection part one. Please click the link above. So this is the part two. I am going to be sharing tips on how to bake cookies to perfection because that is the foundation to make the perfect decorated cookie. So I'm super excited to share this tutorial with you and let's get started. One of the more important parts of cookie decorating is to have a nice flat cookie after it's baked. So when you extend your cookie dough, in a very nice even thickness is going to help you a lot and you can do this using wood sticks or a rolling pin with rings okay so now my cookie dough is ready to cut out my cookies After you cut out your first cookies, you need to gather all the cookie dough that is left and you need to try to make a uniform cookie dough bowl, okay? So, knead your cookie dough once again. You need to do this very fast because you don't want your cookie dough to get very warm or soft. Because if you don't knead your cookie dough again, there are going to be spaces in between your cookie dough and those are the ones that are going to make bubbles when they're baking and as a result, you're going to have a cookie that is going to have bumps on the top. And it's going to be a little harder for you to decorate it, or it's not going to look so nice when you're done. I think so, it's ready. So you need to roll again your cookie dough. And as you can see, the cookie dough looks very flat and even, so it's ready for you to cut out more cookies. And I'm going to show you now how the cookie will come out if you just gather your cookie dough after you cut the first cookies and you just gather it and roll it. Right now it doesn't look very different, but you will see when you cut out your cookie and you bake it, how it's going to turn out, okay? And I am going to make a little mark on the cookie so we can watch them how they will come out when they're baking. I have there my cookies that I put a little dot in the center so we can see how these cookies are going to bake. I always put the timer for 8 minutes so I can check and see how my cookies are baking. So let's check. So this is one of the cookies that I mark and as you can see it has bubbles on the top. So let's see how they turn out when they're fully baked. Okay, my cookies are done. Now I'm going to transfer them to a cooling rack and we're gonna take a look at them. As you can see, the cookies look very nice and even, and I'm gonna take a closer look to the ones that I mark. And this is the cookie that has one of the marks, and as you can see, it has some bubbles on the top. So these bubbles are not gonna let you decorate your cookie very nicely because they're gonna have little bumps. So this is why you need to knead your cookie dough again after you cut out the first cookies, okay? I hope that you can see them. And this is the other one. Okay. 
okay guys this is it for today i really hope that you learned something new in this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe follow me on my social media share this video with your friends that will be very helpful and don't forget to be super creative in all your baking and particularly in your cookie decorating see you until next time bye bye